Hello and welcome to Eclectic Classes. Today's lesson is about load cell, their types and working principle. A load cell is a force transducer. A force transducer is an electrical device which can convert a force into an electrical signal. Here, the force could be tension, compression, pressure or torque. As the electrical signal from load cell varies with applied force, same could be measured and could be standardized to represent some physical parameters like weight or load. Load cell could be broadly categorized in three groups that is strain gauge load cell, pneumatic load cell and hydraulic load cell. Let's start with strain gauge load cell. Before going in detail, let's know what a strain gauge is. A strain gauge is an electrical element which can measure deformation of any material. A strain gauge is constructed of very fine wire or foil set up in a grid pattern. With any change in shape of the strain gauge, its electrical resistance changes. If strain gauge is applied with a tension force, it gets thinner and longer and consequently its resistance increases. If strain gauge is applied with a compression force, it gets thicker and shorter and consequently its resistance decreases. This way, we can conclude that due to its linear relationship between electrical resistance and force applied, we can always calculate the force applied. Now let's move to strain gauge load cell. It's a metal body usually made of aluminium, alloy steel or stainless steel onto which strain gauges are fixed. Now the metal body which is quite sturdy does have some elasticity also. When a force will be applied onto this load cell, the metal body will slightly deform and hence the strain gauges will also deform and just now we had studied that this deformation will result in change in electrical resistance and hence the force will be calculated by measuring the resistance. This is how load cell works. One important thing to be noted is that when we defined load cell, I used the word strain gauges and not strain gauge. Actually, in a load cell, it's not just one strain gauge but four. If we would have used only one strain gauge, the change in resistance would have been extremely small. This extremely small resistance change, measurement could have been really difficult. So, to make things working, we arrange four strain gauges in a load cell. These four are arranged in a Wheatstone bridge arrangement. A Wheatstone bridge is an arrangement of four balanced resistors as shown here in the figure. In balanced condition, when there is no force applied onto the load cell, output voltage V0 will be zero. This is nothing but a characteristic of Wheatstone bridge to give zero output voltage in balanced condition. With any deformity of the load cell, the strain gauges will deform and their resistance will vary. Now the Wheatstone bridge won't be balanced and hence we will get some output voltage. This output voltage will let us know the force applied. Strain gauge load cells are the most widely used type of load cell. They could be easily located in any industrial house where weighing is being done as part of their process. These load cells exhibit quite high accuracy. Strain gauge load cells are passive transducers, that is, they always need an external voltage source for their functioning. And due to this reason, these are not suitable for intrinsic safety applications, that is, not suitable to locations where ignition could be an issue. The most important aspect of strain gauge load cells are they are quite cheap 
so being a cheap option with other good features like good accuracy range etc resulted in most wide use among all type of load cells moving to pneumatic load cell pneumatic load cell works on force balance principle the arrangement of a pneumatic load cell is like as shown in the figure a diaphragm is attached to a platform on which the load is to be applied a nozzle is placed just below the platform which is open and venting out air when no load is applied once a load is applied on the load cell platform diaphragm moves down and so the platform also moves down resulting in nozzle getting shut off now regulate the air pressure till the diaphragm moves up to its initial position once the initial unloaded position of the diaphragm is reached it is signaled by nozzle restarting to vent the air during this whole process we see pressure gauge increasing gradually the pressure at which the nozzle restarts venting with load is a measure of the applied force with calibration of the total scale pressure can provide the weight applied on the load cell features of pneumatic load cell pneumatic load cells are more accurate than hydraulic load cell but less accurate than strain gauge load cells pneumatic load cells don't need any external power supply so are suitable for areas requiring intrinsic safety now let's move to hydraulic load cell a hydraulic load cell again works on force balance principle in this load cell an elastic diaphragm is attached with piston same piston is attached to a platform on which load to be measured will be applied an oil filled chamber is connected with a pressure gauge just below the diaphragm when a load is applied on the platform attached with piston it pressurizes and diaphragm gets pressed downward as diaphragm downward movement increases the pressure of the oil filled chamber we see pressure increasing in the attached pressure gauge with calibration of this pressure scale we can easily get the value of the load applied features of hydraulic load cell hydraulic load cells are not that widely used they offer accuracy in a range of 0.25 to 1% of full scale output with a resolution value of 0.02% usually these are sensitive to ambient pressure so these must be reset before every use hydraulic load cells are costly too one great feature about hydraulic load cell is that they do not need any external power supply so they are suitable for any area where intrinsic safety is required so this was all about load cell their types and working principle hope you like this session do tell me how was the session i'll be back soon with many more videos stay tuned subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon and like button thanks for watching bye for now